certain films, I'm get led to believe. I've seen one Harry Potter film when I was a film critic. I had to. Uh, but uh, apart from that, uh, they've never particularly attracted me. But apparently they play this game on uh, broomsticks and uh, the, the, in a more earthbound uh, way, uh, organisations on both sides of the Atlantic have turned Quidditch into a proper real-life sport. Uh, both of organisations in America and Britain are now seeking to distance themselves uh, from Quidditch by changing the name of the sport because to retain Quidditch would uh, mean they had close or would indicate they had close links uh, with Harry Potter author J.K. Rowling uh, and uh, she of course is guilty of the crime of saying you cannot change your biological sex uh, scientifically uh, uh, I mean that is a kind of a fact uh, so uh, she's being demonised, ostracised, turned into a Hollywood pariah uh, because she will not relinquish her belief that you cannot biologically change your gender or your sex. Uh, meanwhile, Warner Brothers Studios, which have literally made billions out of the most valuable film franchise on the face of the earth, Harry Potter, uh, they have... Uh, va made her credits on the films so small that you can hardly see them now and she wasn't invited to the 20th anniversary celebrations that's the woman who wrote the harry potter books and is the executive producer of all the films uh is very much artistically involved in all of the movies uh she's now been non-person she's a pariah because of this view uh, let's talk to the founder of Standing for Women, Kelly J. Keane. Uh, good evening, Kelly J. Hi, good evening. Well, we've talked about this before, but uh, poor old J.K. Rowling's plight seems to be getting worse by the day. Uh, Warner Brothers uh, are trying to sort of basically cut her out of the 20th century or the 20th anniversary celebrations. Uh, Daniel Ratcliffe, Emma Watson have sort of distanced themselves from her. She's the one who turned them into very wealthy international superstars. Uh, Warner Brothers, as I say, they don't even barely want to put her name on the credits. So she's being systematically cancelled. To her credit, she, she cropped up again this weekend on Twitter, uh, still refusing to buckle in her, I mean, I hesitate to say her belief, her conviction <laughs> that you cannot biologically change your sex uh, scientifically that is a fact you can change you know sure you can have surgery you can transition and all that you can change by all means but scientifically biologically your chromosomes will m remain the same that's all she's saying and for that her life is getting ruined yeah i mean it, i don't know if a woman with conviction like hers has has got a choice to walk away from this really I think once she's spoken up and and seen what it means and the sort of abuse and threats that she gets I think she then has a really good understanding of what it means to all women who know what women are um, and aren't persuaded by uh, the mob mentality or by this notion that kindness actually means just to give up our rights um, what what made me laugh about this, and I guess it's not actually too funny, but grown adults um, read a book, stick plastic <laughs> brooms between their legs and play handball. Um, is it any surprise that they think that's a real sport, that they also think <laughs> that men can be women? I mean, it's mad. Now, now they're not going to call it Quidditch. I wonder what they'll call it. <laughs> um, but, I mean, it is... You know, she, she's, you're right, she has uh, sort of risen to the argument. She's not giving way. I mean, she's an impressive, very talented, uh, strong woman because uh, she's really getting it uh, in the teeth with, for all this stuff. Uh, but her basic point is, as she always says, she's not anti-trans, she's not transphobic. She just says, 
uh, she doesn't like to see women being cancelled. She hates that thing that I know you hate. Uh, I'm not too keen on it myself. That business of calling women uh, people who menstruate or people mm. with cervixes. Uh, that was the, her original t tweet is what got her in trouble. She said, people who menstruate, uh, she said, well, remind me, there's a word for them. We've been, woban, we meet, well, can someone help me? You know, uh, that's what she doesn't like, the cancellation of women, and nor do I. Well, look, I've been doing this for about, uh, since about 2015, 2016. And honestly, I've just watched so many things that you thought, well, they won't do that. Um, you know, the, the mutilation of children's bodies, um, the complete mutilation of language. When I sort of started realising what was happening, um, trans women weren't calling themselves women or female. Um, and now we are expected to believe that biology, biology is more of a choice and, and your gender is fixed at birth. Um, and I don't even believe in the word gender, but using their language. Um, for someone like JK Rowling, who, she was a single parent. Uh, she wrote a really compassionate and compelling essay about her own um, hands of, uh, her own um, experience at the hands of an abuser. And I think uh, anything she's done to try and make people understand that she is not transphobic has just made the hate grow because she has to be cancelled, right? She is the she is the um, global best-selling author. She is a really powerful woman. She's a good, decent woman. And so she must be cancelled because if she's allowed to say anything like uh, women are adult human females or women deserve rights of our own, then uh, us, the rest of us uppity women will think that we can say it too. So she, she must be cancelled. Yeah, she also, um, there was a story uh, last week, uh, I think you and I discussed it, Scottish police in particular report, recording rapes uh, as by females. You know, this person was r raped by a woman, uh, a woman with a penis, basically. Uh, and uh, because of that, uh, J.K. Rowling tweeted, uh, war is peace, freedom is slavery, ignorance is strength. The penis in individual who raped you is a woman. Uh, so, uh, in other words, Orwellian doublespeak, newspeak, uh, is uh, what, what's going on here. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, and uh, the people against her, uh, I think it's Daniel Ratcliffe has tweeted out saying, a trans woman is a woman and all that, you know. So, mm -hmm. this is, uh, you. The, the, look, as far as I'm concerned, a trans woman can be a woman, if you know what I mean. I, I, I'm happy to go along with it. But I'm not happy to be ordered to state the scientific untruth that that mm. person has female chromosomes. They don't. Mm. Well, the trouble is, right, we, we let all this stuff in with kind things, like you say, which is a trans woman, a man can transition into being a woman. And that's a really kind, compassionate thing to do, because what we understood about these particular men is that they were deeply distressed. They just wanted to get on with a quiet life. Well, that ship has sailed, unfortunately. And now what we have is this monstrous, dogmatic uh, religion that basically says you have to believe all of it or you're not in our gang and we will destroy you. Now, all of it means three-year-olds can decide that they're the different, uh, a different sex. All of it means that we can have rapists in women's prisons. Um, all of it means that you and I can't use language that we'd like to use about even the most heinous criminals and the police can't recognize men as men. And so what started off with kindness is now really a, an absolute assault on women's rights and the bodies of, of healthy uh, children. Yeah. So you got uh, uh, Rat Daniel Ratcliffe uh, solemnly repeated the mantra, transgender women are women. Uh, and then uh, Emma Watson said, trans people are who they say they are and deserve to live their lives without being constantly questioned or told they aren't who they say they are. Well, I mean, you know, I wouldn't want to make a big thing of it, but, you know, you cannot say you're something that you're actually factually not. That's just mm. moronic. It's inane. <laughs> well, you can, it, I mean, you can even say it, can't you? I mean, it, I don't have to believe it. We don't have to go along with it. 
But what's happened now is that you genuinely can be at risk of losing your job. Uh, you genuinely can be at risk of losing any sort of social status. In this case, uh, uh, the most revered author in the world, and she can lose uh, the, the favour of uh, Hollywood, uh, many of the people whose career she built. Um, I'm interested that none of the grown-ups in the movies have actually come out in support of her, or more people. I mean, like, what more has to happen to this woman before some other people think, well, you know, maybe it's time that I actually spoke up because this is going to get all of us. Um, and before we know it, we're not going to have any way of really protesting this or stopping this assault. Something needs to be done because uh, the truth uh, is at risk here and uh, we don't want that. Uh, Kelly J, always a pleasure to talk to you. Thank you so much for your time. JK Rowling uh, is still at the centre of that trans row. Kelly J Keane there, founder of Standing for Women. I'm Kevin O'Sullivan. This is Talk Radio.